let's talk a minute for and about the disconnected souls in the body of Christ. The body of Christ is a shambles. Yes. I will speak it from the housetops. I'll shout it from the gutters, from the homeless shelters to the big old palaces, wherever they are. The body of Christ is a shambles. You know why? Because they don't want to fellowship one with another. They don't want to love one another. They don't want to come out of their denominational walls. People are incarcerated within their religious denominational structures, and many don't want to say yes to the Lord and reach out beyond their social strata or their economic uh, situation or their denominational affiliation and break the bread of life with other Christians. I'm not even talking about the unsaved folks. I'm talking about the Christians that are in churches that refuse to let down the walls of tradition, racial disharmony and hatred and everything else and anger and bitterness. And we're right because we hold to certain doctrines but they refuse to break the bread of life with their brothers and sisters that are saved by the blood of Jesus and are waving the blood-stained banner of God and saying, Lord, have mercy on me. And yet we are divided. God needs to break down those walls. Amen. God needs to bring His body together. Jesus never prayed a prayer when it wasn't answered. He prayed in John 17 and also at the Last Supper. He prayed about His body being one. And I'll tell you what, there was never a prayer Jesus prayed that's not being answered. And we here at Peacemakers, we in the Kingdom of God, we across the face of the earth that want to exalt Jesus Christ and the true Word of God are going to be used by God to be a knitting needle to help His body to come together in love and give Him all the glory and praise. Give God a hand. Amen. That's what it's all about.